In addition to the three core instrumental variables assumptions, relevance, exclusion, and exogeneity, we're going to make one extra assumption, that there are no defiers in the population. So, among all the four logically possible kinds of people, one of them just doesn't exist. They just aren't any defiers. Everyone is either an always taker, never taker, or a complier. Nobody is a defier. So, this is an assumption. In some cases it might hold, in some cases it might not. What are some cases where it might hold? Well, randomized experiments where the treatment is only available if you're assigned to receive treatment is a very credible case where the no defiers assumption holds. So what do I mean? Well, suppose that a new drug is invented, and we're doing an experiment to see what the effects of this new drug are. So we're going to randomly assign some people to receive the new drug and some people to not. If you're assigned to not receive the drug, then there is no way you can possibly get the drug and take it. So it's simply impossible for you to be a defier, because a defier is somebody who, when they're assigned not to receive treatment, somehow receives treatment anyway. That's just not possible in this case. Now, it's also not possible, by the way, to be an always taker, because an always taker is somebody who always gets the treatment regardless of whether they're assigned to or not. So, and again, if you're not assigned treatment, then you can't actually receive the drug. Now, by the way, the reason we could still have uh, non-compliance here is that even though you're assigned to receive the drug, you might take it home, put it on your nightstand, but you might not actually take it. So that's somebody who doesn't comply with their treatment. So we can still have never takers. These are people who are assigned to receive treatment. They get the drug, they bring it home, but they don't physically take it. And compliers, people who when they're assigned to get treated, they take the drug home and they actually do take it. So this is a case where the no defiers assumption makes sense. Okay, but in general, we don't have to actually rule out always takers like happened in the previous example. So to see this, let's look at an equivalent way of seeing the no defier assumption. It's called the monotonicity assumption. Now this assumption says that treatment assignment will only push people into receiving treatment. That is, treatment assignment just makes people more likely to receive treatment. It does not make them less likely to receive treatment. So it's never going to take people who would have received treatment regardless and then change their opinion and say, well, now that I'm assigned to receive treatment, I'm not going to actually get treated. That's what a defier does. So this is a different way of viewing the no defiers assumption, and it's equivalent. So one situation where this makes sense is when the instrument lowers the cost of getting treatment. So typically we think that if you lower the cost of doing something, then people are going to be more likely to do it. They're not going to say, oh, now that the cost is lower, I'm going to stop doing it, even though I was before when the cost was higher. So as a more concrete example, let's look at a situation where some researchers wanted to look at the effect of using mosquito bed nets on whether people get malaria in a developing country. So what they did is randomly assign households to either get a free bed net or not. So they were going to show up at some people's households and give them a free bed net. Some other people, they just wouldn't show up to their house. Now, they can't force people to actually use the bed net to hang it above their bed and sleep under it, but they can give it to them. So some people may not comply with treatment. They may receive a free bed net and throw it in the corner and not use it, or they, maybe they'll sell it to somebody and spend the money on something else. So those people don't comply. But it's very unlikely that when a household receives a bed net, a free bed net from the experimenters, that they then go around their house and take down any bed nets that they were using before. Okay? That's exactly what a defier does. A defier is someone who, when they're assigned to get treatment, so they get a free bed net, they don't use it. But when they don't get a free bed net, so when the experimenter doesn't show up at their door, they actually do have bed nets hanging in their beds, and they use them. So in this case, 
probably there aren't any defiers in the population, and so the no defiers assumption makes sense. Now, in a later module, we'll see exactly how we use the no defiers assumption to learn the local average treatment effect from our data.